Madhul Kumar, welcome to my series on solving test papers from GCE. This is mathematics advanced level. Here we'll solve question number ten. So I actually solved all the questions of this test paper. You can look into this playlist for solutions of the other questions. Question number ten. The height above ground, h meters, of a passenger on a roller coaster can be modeled by the differential equation dH dt equals to h cos 0.25 t divided by 40, where t is time in seconds from the start of the ride. Given that the passenger is 5 meters above the ground at the start of the ride, show that h equals to 5 times e to the power of 0 0.1 sin 0 0.25 t. State the maximum height of the passenger above the ground. The passenger reaches the maximum height from the sec for the second time t seconds after the start of the ride. Find the value of t. You need to provide the answer in this space. However, I will provide you solutions within this area so that you understand and we'll keep focus on the question also. So this is the differential equation where we have to solve and write this as h equals to 5 e to the power of 0.1 sine 0 0.25 t. We can actually cross multiply, right? And then uh, we get terms with h on one side with t on the other side, integrate and get the value of h that should help right so the first step which i'm going to do here is uh, take uh, this dt on the other side and h on this side so what we get here is dh or h equals to cos of 0 0.25 t over 40 dt right now we can integrate both sides. So when you integrate, we get dH, oh, sorry, H equals to, now 40 is a constant. We can write this as 1 over 40. Integral of cos of 0 0.25 T dt. Now that is ln H. We can write C on one side, so we'll write it on this right side now. Integral of cos 0 0.25 t will be sine 0 0.25 t divided by 0 0.25 plus C. The initial condition is given to us and that is, given that passenger is 5 meters above the ground at the start, right? So that is the condition, 5 meters above the ground at the start. So that means for t equals to 0, height is 5. So substituting that in this equation, we get what? Well, 4 times, uh, and this is 40. 40 times 0 0.25, this will be 100. So it gives you 10, right? Okay. Um, so let's do it in, we can write this ln 5 equals to sine of 0, right, sine of 0 degrees, divided by 40 times 0 0.25 is 10, plus C. So C basically is ln 5. So ln 5 is equal to C. Correct. Substituting, we get ln H equals to sine of 0 0.25 T over 10, plus ln 5, ln 5, clear? Okay, now we need to uh, find what h is, so we have to take e to the power of, right? So because this is ln, so we'll take e to the power of Okay, so let me just continue here. Okay, I'm just finding space. So we get e to the power of ln h equals to e to the power of all this, all this, right? So 1 over 10 is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 sine of 0 0.25 t 
plus ln5, right? Now, e and ln are reciprocal functions, so we get h equals 2. This could be written as a product, right? So we could write this as e of 0 0.1 sine 0 0.25t times e to the power of ln5, clear? Now, e to the power of ln5 is 5, and therefore, we could write this as h equals to 5 times e to the power of 0 0.1 sine of 0 0.25t. So that is what we wanted to prove, clear? So that is how we get this uh, equation. So height at any instance of time can be written as 5 times e to the power of 0 0.1 sine 0 0.25t. Right. Now, part B is state the maximum height of the passenger above the ground. Now, for a sine function, maximum could be 1, right? So, for this part, maximum could be 1, right? So, let me do it here. Now, here we know that the maximum for sine 0 0.25t is equal to 1. So if I substitute this value here, then what do we get? That's the whole idea, right? So for maximum, h will be equal to 5 times e to the power of 0 0.1, okay? So, so that becomes the maximum value, right? Uh, well, we can find uh, using calculator, 5 times e to the power of point 0.1, okay, uh, power being point 0.1, this is equal to 5.525. Rounding to three significant places, we get 5.53. So, so that is uh, um, height in meters, oh, sorry. Okay, so maximum height will be at t equals to uh, the maximum value pi by 2, right? Or the whole thing to be pi by 2. And that is going to be the maximum height. So we got the answer for state the maximum height of this. So we can write maximum height equals to 5.53 meters, right? Now, the condition given to us is the passenger reaches the maximum height for the second time. So this is kind of critical. For the second time is t. Seconds after, find t. Now, for the second time means what? Let's do it here now. So maximum occurs at... Uh, for sine theta we're talking about, right? So at theta equals to pi by 2, and then at 5 pi by 2, right? Get it? So, so the maximum occurs at pi by 2 and then 5 pi by 2. So we are actually looking for the second time. So second time it is 5 pi by 2. So theta for us basically is 0 0.25t. So that means 0 0.25t is equal to 5 pi by 2. That's, is that clear? So t is equals to 5 pi by 2. Now 0 0.25 is like 1 over 4. That is 0 0.25, correct? So just cross multiply. So we get t equals to you can multiply 20 by 5 pi by 2 times 4, which is 10 pi. So 10 pi will be 3.14, we can write. Okay. So 10 times pi equals to, in decimals, 31.4 seconds. Is that clear, right? So that is how we can actually write our answer. And these answers are in three significant figures. Do you see that? So both the answers which you have to write, 
they should be to three significant figures. As mentioned in the very starting of this test paper. So it says, let's draw your attention again. Answers should be given to three significant figures unless otherwise stated, right? So, so by default, that should be the answer. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share my videos with your friends. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. And in case there is any difficulty, you can always uh, send me your queries on the given email address.